My name is Dr Adam Yates. I am the Senior Curator of Earth Sciences for the Museum and Art Gallery of the Northern Territory. This is the skull of an ancient species of crocodile. It's a newly recognised species that was, um, well this particular skull was discovered in 2009, although other specimens have been found at earlier times. The genus that it belongs to is known as Baru and it extends back to 25 million years on the Australian continent, uh, but it died out in the late Miocene, so this particular um, specimen is one of the last of its kind. Well, it is by far the nicest and most complete skull of a Baru crocodile that's ever been found anywhere in Australia, uh, and so it will be the name-bearing specimen, what we call the holotype of the new species. It's definitely not new, it is 8 million years old, but it's a species that we humans have not recognised before. Well, it tells us about how crocodiles have evolved and changed in Australia, which is part of the bigger picture of the massive environmental changes that have happened to our continent. So what we might be looking at is a period of aridity, similar to modern day aridity that caused all the rivers to dry up and species to go extinct. Modern Australian crocodiles, although you might think of them as typically Australian creatures that have been here for a very long time, crocodiles have this reputation for being ancient and unchanging, but that's not actually true. The Australian crocodiles are actually recent arrivals on the Australian cro uh, continent. They belong to the genus Crocodilus, which probably has an origin in Africa not too long ago, only a few million years ago. So they have immigrated to Australia and colonised Australia, whereas Australia's original endemic crocodiles, like this one, have gone extinct completely. So we need to be able to see it in all its detail. Uh, so when we're describing the species, we have to sort of really get down to the nitty gritty of its anatomy and demonstrate why this one's anatomy is a little bit different from all the other uh, known species of ancient crocodile from Australia. Okay, so one of the things that makes this crocodile so special and so different is its extreme robusticity. That is, it's really strongly built. Thick, heavy, deep jaws, really massive teeth that all indicate that this was a, a crocodile that was specialised for taking megafauna. It was a megafauna eater, a routinely uh, eating megafauna. So unlike a modern saltwater crocodile, which is quite capable of taking big animals, but subsists mostly on small fish and small prey, this guy didn't subsist on small things. It was specialised for taking big things all the time. 